Hello everybody, this is Scott, and today I'll be addressing a question that was, do you have an Android app? Well, not as we speak, but that's kind of what I was building. I'm not really into mobile apps, I kind of, I'm just going to try and make my site accessible to both mobile and desktop, which I'm working on, but um, we need to, I figured I'll make a mobile app just for the sake of saying I built a mobile app. Because I don't like to leave people hanging. And I figure it's about time I designed a simple mobile app using Go's app, which I recommended to you all a long time ago. Figure now is a decent time to finally do that. So, Facebook. And the reason I kind of pushed this off was because I don't have a developer's license for. Type in the name of the show on the app. No. I just never really got around to it, and I figured I don't really need one because I don't have the developer's license. But I did get an important update. As you can see, my Google Plus URL changed to Plus the Daily Exposition. This is what happens when I become. Uh, I've been around for a while, they know my brand they know my site and therefore I can claim that and which was kinda cool because now I have my own URL and not a lot of people actually have that right now and now we're just gonna get some videos go to YouTube name your video channel slash YouTube wait I could add a lot more of these but uh, name your video name your YouTube video slash channel this is product reviews, and the top one can be gaming. Interesting idea. I wanted to test if a feed burner would work there. I was just kind of curious. And just feed all the recent updates there. Wait, does this thing still work? I don't remember. Essentially, yeah. It, it does seem to work. So we'll just retrieve the important feed information and see if it works. Slash and then uploads by us. And then we come over here and I also have one for my gaming channel because I figured it's worth a test. So I'm always willing to try. I need to clean out my stupid feed burner feeds. I don't even have most of those sites. Ever since I just bought my domain, I pretty much trashed all the old sites and combined them. And I'm gonna do the same for my gaming one, but I'm gonna put it on either a subdomain or its own because I'm still debating what I want to do with that. Pre preview needs to be refreshed. I'm going to say product reviews and see what comes up. Hey, look at that. You get taken directly to my feed. So while some of you are going to say, well, that's kind of annoying, it's actually better this way because you'll receive all of the important updates and not just one. Because if I just put in one, you'll never know what's actually going on. So we're going to stick with that. We're going to come over to our contact information, and I'm just going to make you a very simple contact form and fill out the rest as needed. So I will have it. It'll be on my site. You'll see it somewhere on the sidebar or somewhere up here or somewhere it'll just maybe I'll put it down here put it right below the login information that's a good spot for it but thank you very much for watching please stay tuned for the next video if you have any questions comments or concerns please post them in the comments below and I will try to answer them thank you very much for watching and goodbye